we're able to take telephone calls as well, folks. So if you did call me, you can join the conference that way as well. Uh, now back to the conference here. And uh, we left off. Uh, we left off talking about uh, sciatica. And <clears throat> Doc, where did we leave off? Do what? I said, where did we leave off? Did did we have anything more to go on sciatica? Uh, or because which what that lady was talking about was pain that was going across her uh, lower yeah back. the lower uh huh and 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 not the kidneys because she's had blood work and and they ruled out the kidneys and she's not having any kidney pain no problem in the urinary tract she's just lower back just above the buttocks. Uh, lower back, across the lower back, and down the right hand, right side. Um, it, 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 uh, that sciatica is uh, causing excruciating pain. Okay, there's two two possibilities. Number one, the medical doctors look at the blood work with a real broad spectrum. I tighten up the boundaries so much I can see exactly where each organ in the body is affected by different things, and in you know, nine times out of ten, almost everybody has some issue with the kidneys, okay? And that affects the blood pressure, and that puts labor on the urinary tract. It puts labor on the liver. So I tied them up from the medical parameters to the nutritional parameters. Now, as far as the sciatica oh, is concerned, the lower back... I'm sorry. Maybe... Crystal, Crystal, please hold the line, okay? Uh, we're in the middle of a conference, and 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 uh, uh, if you'd like to call in, uh, please call in at 503-606-6064 uh, because we're we're having a discussion, and uh, we took your your call, but we would it would work better if you called us in and and joined the conference uh, in the room with the other people. Could you do that? Okay. Thank you. 503-606-6064. Thanks, Crystal. Okay, please continue. I'm sorry, folks. Okay. The sci sciatica usually is in the lower lumbar region. One of the vertebrae can be out just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction and pinching that nerve, and that sends the pain down the leg, and they call it sciatica. Okay? So there's number one. If she went to a really, really good chiropractor that knows what he's doing, that's been in practice a long time, and check that lower back, and then adjust it, and probably the side that could go away. If it comes back and you know goes back and forth, back and forth, we can put a magnet on that site, press around until you find a hot spot on that lower spine. That's where you put that real strong magnet on there, and in minutes, that side that could quit hurting. You don't mm -hmm. have problem. But the way I do the blood work, I run through a special program. I'm the only one in Texas that has this program, probably in the nation right now. And I have, I got people from all over the country that call me and I run the blood work. We do probably 25 or 30 reports every week. And it's mm -hmm. just amazing the things that we find that the medical doctors cannot find. Oh, there's nothing wrong with your kidneys. There's nothing wrong with your liver. There's nothing wrong with this. But the parameters are so wide. They don't see. Just take, for instance, your your white blood count in your blood work. My parameters are five to eight. If it's below five, you got a virus. If it's over eight, you have a bacterial infection. The medical mm -hmm. parameters are four to eleven. And I had a patient who went into her doctor and said, "I just don't feel good." Well, there's nothing wrong with you. It must be in your head. But her white count was ten point five. Well, she had a bacterial infection. But they don't see that because they don't study five minutes of nutrition. They don't have a clue. They mm. are being told things by the drug companies so they can mm. put you on all kinds of drugs and make those long, long, nice payments for years and years and years. You know, and you, you'll never see an old medical doctor that believes in drugs. You'll see an old medical doctor that doesn't believe in drugs, but the doctors that believe in the drugs, they retire in their late 50s so they can go spend their money before they die. Mm. I see this every day. And I'm even training some medical doctors in the local area about naturopathy so they can see things that they normally don't know 
and they're not told properly by the drug companies. Because when they go to medical school, these drug companies get a hold of them. They give them a laptop. They give them a, a notebook. They give them all their supplies. They they feed them and feed them and feed them all the way through medical school, and they expect them to sell all of their drugs. And it, it's just, uh, you know, their foot is nailed in one position. They, they keep going around in circles, and they're costing everybody a lot of money and they put band-aids all over the body and nothing fixes it. They don't want to fix the problem with the drugs. They want to put band-aids on it to lower the symptoms so you 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 will feel better. But those drugs affect the kidneys, affect the liver, affect a lot of the organs in the body, and then all of a sudden you got more difficult problems to deal with. And um, you know, I, I teach my, I teach, teach nature paths coming out of school right now <clears throat> that don't they weren't taught what I was taught years and years ago. I've been doing this a very long time. And when I learned in, in my medical school, I learned the old-timey naturopathic ways, like the doctors having the buggies going around from house to house, delivering babies and cutting bullets out mm-hmm. and sewing people up, setting bones. They were all naturopathic doctors. Mm-hmm. 110 years ago, the AMA was formed, and that's where the medical doctors came in and the drug companies came in, Everything changed. They think what we do is witchcraft. I mean, can you believe that? And we've we've done it for hundreds of years. I mean, not me, of course, but nature paths have for years and years and years. And the AMA, they they don't care about all that. And a lot of these medical doctors, they were they're taught that we do witchcraft or we do voodoo or we do this because none of this works. When a lot of medical doctors send patients to me because they don't know what to do for them. And then I have to turn them around. So it's pretty cool. So there you go. That's some information about sciatica. And here's a little bit more. If you have uh, inflammation, and of course you do, one of the bo- the best anti-inflammatories <clears throat> for uh, this sciatica pain is listed uh, when you go to the website Herbal healthreview.com okay herbalhealthreview.com when you get there click on common conditions okay then go down alphabetically a b c d under a you'll find arthritis and rheumatism those are mm-hmm. some painful inflammatory disorders and one of the best products that are listed there and it's going to give you all kinds of anti-inflammatory ideas which is what you need you while you're okay. while you're getting you know uh, uh, doing this and those mag those magnets that's a great idea because and, and doc miles knows what to do so checking that blood and finding it all and then and then and, and then get those and those magnets aren't expensive they are not expensive and they work so that's one, one, one thing that's going to reduce that inflammation because it's going to unlock the circulation and things are going to get through there again. That pain is blocked, okay. blocked circulation. So, mm-hmm. and, um, and that joint care, a formula called joint care, uh, and it's uh, formula number 1043, 1043. And I'm looking at that joint care herbal formula it's the it, that's the number one thing that helped me when i had uh a, a, a somebody plow into the back of my car while i'm at a dead stop and i'm in an suv they're in a lexus and they smashed into the back of my car going about 40 miles an hour uh, well it totaled both cars and I wound up, my neck is spliced together in three places. Well, I'm in my late 60s when that happened. <clears throat> and so uh, uh, arthritis set in. Ar- arthritis is in my family anyway. Everybody had it. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and so I, I worked on this herbal formulation. And it helped, and it, it kind of helped. And, and I, I kept... And I, Seven years, I couldn't comb my hair. I couldn't lift my hands above my head. It was so painful, I couldn't do it. I couldn't put on my shirt. I put on my coat. 
Forget about it. I needed help. Uh, drive my car? Yeah, if I want to have a lot of pain driving my car, I'll go drive. And I had to go shopping, have to go places, had to do things. So I had to drive my car, always in pain. And finally, seven years later, and approximately 68 different herbs, all the arthritis herbs, all the rheumatism herbs, all the pain herbs I could think of, all the inflammatory herbs, and then on the seventh year, I added all the blood cleaning, cancer, uh, historically, traditionally used herbs for cancer and blood. I added that to the formula. 68 herbs later, I got it all balanced out after seven years, and I now have absolutely no pain. I work out with weights. I got my mus I got my muscular system back again. I'm 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 tight, I'm toned, I'm solid again at 76. And and it's all those herbs combined correctly. And you're gonna see those herbs that are gonna be listed in the arthritis and rheumatism report. Well, I combined them correctly together uh, with the, you know, uh, 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 because I'm spirit filled and spirit led and and got it all balanced. And now I, when I took it, I, it took one teaspoon. Actually, what I would do is I would get some Manuka honey. Okay, a little uh, about a teaspoon of Manuka honey, put that in my mouth, put a teaspoon of this joint care herbal anti-inflammatory, anti-rheumatoid, anti-arthritis, anti-cancer type herbal formulation. Put it, put a teaspoon of that in my mouth, held it there for a minute or two, let it soak through my cheeks, down through uh, sublingually uh, under my tongue, directly into the bloodstream. Bam. Oh, wow, that felt pretty good. It, you know, that it, it took the pain away. Took the inflammation away, uh, and eh, then, but it was still not quite there. So I did it. I waited five minutes, and I did it again. I took two doses, and then it all went away. So I, so then I just forgot about it because it was all. I had no pain, so I forgot about it. And uh, <clears throat> the next day I had to do it again. The next day I had to do it again. The third or fourth day, I forgot about it. I forgot it for a week. I forgot that I had any pain for a week. Then after that, it, uh, it came back again, and then I did it again. Now, I've been pain-free for many, many months. Until recently, I'm working out too much with weights, and I kind of strained something, you know, because I still had a weakness there, and, and on the, at below, the, the below my... Uh, the base of my skull on the right side, all the way down into my arm, that was ripped out really bad. And it, and so I, I injured it a bit. Well, it took, it took two or three doses, and that cleared up again. So that uh, that is a, a formula called joint care. But there's a lot of other ideas. Bromelain from pineapple and a lot of other remedies and things that are in there on in that report that are going to be valuable for you, okay? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, and then and then call me on the telephone so that we can discuss this, okay? Okay. Um and you're in Oregon, uh, right? That's right. And you're in California, so I'm in uh, California. We're in the same time zone. And you okay. can, you could call me up to seven o'clock at night, but, but around seven okay. around seven, seven fifteen, seven thirty, I'm 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 usually in front of my karaoke machine. I, I, okay. <laughs> I, I, call, I call my sister in Bakersfield, mm -hmm. and I sing to her for 25 years, two or three times a week. I sing to her for That's beautiful. A, an hour or two. I sing love songs to her, and she falls asleep, and then I hang up the phone. <laughs> Well, that's beautiful. So I will definitely give you a call before 7 o'clock because I don't want to interrupt your, your my, serenade. Oh, yeah. It, your I, serenade. Oh, it's, it's fun, you know. And, 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 yeah. And, 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 and that, that's the good. The, the, the sad part of that, of that story is for about 23, 24 of those years, 
I screeched and scre I screamed and I, I, I really didn't sing very well because I couldn't sing at all when I started and it was horrible. And she loved me so much. She loves me so much. She told me, oh, you're doing good, Truman. You're doing good. She encouraged <laughs> me. She encouraged me. And so I kept singing and screeching and screaming and squawking at her for year twenty for over two decades. And then funny thing happened. I learned how to sing. And now I serenade her and she just, she says, then she coaches me. She says, oh, you, you got a little screechy on that one. Oh, oh, but this one was good because you relaxed and you were, you didn't sing, you, you relaxed. So you didn't, you just sang it in your normal voice and it was beautiful. <laughs> and she, 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 she encourages me. Yeah. So now you're going, <laughs> now you're going, you're going so on what I'm getting good. ready to do, I'm about to fax Dr. Miles, Very good. my blood work. I just, uh, Pulled it down off the system, so I'm going to fax it over to him with all the information. Okay. Oh, and then great. I'll go on your website, too, and look for the inflammatories that you spoke about. That's right, and then we can talk about these things, and, and I'll be looking for your call after 5 o'clock. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Shalawan. Shalawan. Bless your yeah. sister. All right. So you're going to go, go on America's Got Talent now, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just it's just a hobby. Just my hobby. I love my sister. She put up with me when I couldn't sing, and now she tells me that I'm a great singer. So, uh, I, you know, th th bless her heart for putting up with me. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm I'm out of management contract, so don't call me and ask me for a contract. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she, I was I was going to do that too. I'm glad you let me know that you weren't going to do it. That, that's yeah, I, I, I was into cool. management, you know, after I, became a, after I retired as an entertainer, I became a management for a lot of, you know, really talented people around the country. And so I used to showcase people every two weeks in Las Vegas and all kinds of stuff. So, well, hey, man, so that, I, that I, was another life. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's that's interesting. I, I, w I would have, uh, of course, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready then. You know, I didn't, but, but now, but now, you know, I'm beginning to sound more like Frank Sinatra and, and Tony Bennett and Barry Manlow and, 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 and it's not so bad. So you, you, you might've missed a big chance right here. Who knows? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, folks, uh, we have to have some humor here sometimes too. So um, that leaves a line open for you. Uh, you know, we, we want you to press your star key two times if you have a question or a comment or a suggestion. We want to talk about what you want to talk about. So press your star key two, two times. This is a discussion, not a lecture. We want to hear from you. Press your star key two times and uh, let's take the next topic. You know what? Again, I think we have folks that want to listen, and that's fine because they get to do that. See, they get to have that choice. I don't, I don't get that choice, Doc, and you don't get that choice. We have to talk. We can't just listen. That's right. <laughs> so, okay. So th that was a, that was a, a a good question, sciatica, and and uh, right. but but I know you can do a lot of good things, and 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 that we can do a lot of good things to help that nice lady. That's right. We sure can. <clears throat> so that's what we do. That's what we do, and that's why we do it. So, do do you have any uh, questions or suggestions or anything today, Doc? Um, I'm seeing a lot of people lately with high triglycerides. You know, because that's our fast food industry. You know, with all the fried things and this and that. You know the you know, the McDonald's and, you know, Whataburgers and all this kind of stuff, people's triglycerides were going out of sight. They eat all the fried chicken and fried this and fried that. And, you know, it's just one lady came in today and she was she was pretty pretty high on her triglycerides, way, way high. And uh, if it's over 400, it doesn't even read the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. So, you know, we call the LDL the lousy one and the HDL the happy one. And then you have your triglycerides, and a combination of those three is what gives you your total cholesterol. 
And the medical doctors look at the total cholesterol and say, oh, you need to be on a statin drug. Well, the statin drug doesn't do anything for the good cholesterol or the triglycerides. It only helps the bad. And so if, they, if they, they're good on everything except the triglycerides and they put them on a statin drug, it's not going to do nothing. They'll be on it for years. And then 85% of those end up with Alzheimer's just because of the statin drugs. Now they're doing millions and millions of dollars worth of study to find out. Now listen to this. To find out what causes Alzheimer's. And you talk to 10 people and you'll probably find four or five of those 10 that are on a statin drug because they're making a ton of money off these statin drugs. And it's causing another illness, which is Alzheimer's. And now they give them medicine for that. And it doesn't fix it. It only puts Band-Aids on it. And it just goes, you know, from one bad thing to another bad thing to another bad thing, and nothing gets fixed. And people are getting so frustrated because the doctor can't help them. But, you know, medical doctors are great. We need medical doctors for surgeries, you know, for uh, terrible accidents, you know, and, and whatever. But to adjust their blood work, they just don't know what they're doing. They're out of their league. They just don't have any backup, no knowledge, no study of nutrition at all. The nurses that work for the doctors know a ton about basic nutrition, and the medical doctors know nothing. They'll give people a B12 shot and charge them 20 or 25 bucks. That one shot lasts eight hours. But they can take a B12 chewable, a powerful one. I've got one that's really tasty, and that will last eight hours. And then another eight hours, you take you know some more. And you keep your energy going, and you do it from day after day after day, and you don't have to spend that. You know, that twenty dollars or twenty-five dollars for a shot. It only lasts one one eight-hour period. So, anyway, that's what's keeping me busy right now. It's putting out the fires that these medical doctors are causing. But that's okay. We need them in their realm and their expertise. You know, for for surgeries. You know, for delivering babies and and, and for you know putting bones back in place and and you know take out appendix and stuff like that. That's what they're very, very, very good at. But nutrition, forget it. There's a few medical doctors stepping out of the box just a little bit. But they can't step out too far because if they do, they can lose their medical license and they're out of business. That's right. That's what, that's what the AMA is doing to these medical doctors. They find out that they're getting into what they call alternative medicine. When ours is the number one, not alternative, it's a real Macari. What theirs is is the alternative because it's solid drugs. And that's what causes a lot of problems. But anyway, I've been so, 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 so busy. I didn't get out of there. Uh, I was 45 minutes late getting out today because I had a late patient and I had to go through a whole array of that 18 page report showing her exactly what the doctors missed in her blood work. She said, No wonder I feel so bad. Why don't they know that? And I said, because they don't know. They don't know what they're looking for. And, well, you got a bacterial infection. Well, the doctor didn't tell me I had a bacterial infection. I said, you got a urinary tract infection, too, that's contributing to this uh, bacterial infection. And, well, he didn't tell me I had a urinary tract infection either because he didn't do a urinalysis. Well, urinalysis also shows me some kidney markers, Okay. A lot of insurance companies will only do one or two pounds. That's all they're going to pay for. And that's what people depend on. But you don't get the whole story. So that's that's the whole deal. You've got to do the whole story, not just part of it. You can't read the first page of a novel and go to the hundredth page of a novel and then read the last page of a novel. You don't even know what the novel's about. You've got to know it from first page to the last page. Whatever we do, we have to do it specifically in the right manner and educate these patients to know exactly what's going on in their system. And that's what I spend all my time every day on. And by the time I get home, you know, I've just about lost my voice. I've talked all day long today. 
I, I, so I'm going. I, I do that all the time, Doc. I, I know. It. We, My we, throat's we, a little scratchy, but I'll get over it. I, I know. I, I and, and 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 can you imagine? I'm, I'm, I get through doing this broadcast for two hours. I'm talking another three or four hours on the telephone. And then I call my sister and I and I sing to her for another hour or two. Uh, sometimes I don't have any voice left. I bet not. <laughs> so uh, looking at that, uh, looking at uh, what, what product did you talk about first? There was a product you mentioned its name. What was it? I'm, I'm looking at your website. I'm looking at theherbdoctor.net and your website. Right. What was the name of that product? Oh, oh, for the kidneys? Yeah. Renal Plus. Renal Plus. Okay. R-E-N-A-L, Renal Plus. Renal. And Renal Plus has got some granules from cattle, you know, for bovine, and some other uh, supplementation in there to make it really, really, really beef up those kidneys because I've seen people that was going to go on dialysis in, you know, in a couple of months and they started taking nine of those a day, three in the morning, three at lunch and, and three at supper. And after they went through a couple of bottles of that, they went back to their doctor and the doctor said, oh, we don't have to put you on dialysis. I don't know what happened, but, uh, renal plus R E N A L P L U S. Renal Plus. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. And people with high blood pressure, if their triglycerides are, are not real high, which usually is a cause, uh, if they take the Renal Plus and the liver support, their blood pressure comes down. Where's the, where's the, what's the brand name? Miles of Texas, Nutramedica, or, or Orthomolecular? I can't find it. Uh, what, the, the liver support? Uh, the, the, the Renal Plus. What, what, oh, the real book, it, it's, it's Biotics Research. It's on one of those pages. I don't know which page it's on, but. I, I, I've got, brand, I've got uh, Biotics Brand, Mile of Texas, Nutraceuticals, Nutramedica, and Orthomolecular. I, I don't know which brand to, to choose. It's under Biotics Research. Biotics, okay. Now I'll find that Renal Plus. See, i got to get used to your, your website. And I'm going to do it too. That's just how this is how I get used to it. So now I've clicked on it, and now I'm looking for Renal Plus. I'm going down. I'm really there. It is. I'm looking at it. Okay, folks. See, that's what I like to do. I like to be able to show it to people because I'm making a video as we speak, and and later on, if you want to see a video of this broadcast, then you can look at. Renal Plus, but you can also look at it if you go up on Doc Miles' website, theherbdoctor.net, and I'm looking at Renal Plus. So, okay, now then you mentioned a second product besides that. What was the other one? Uh, you mean the liver support? Liver support. Is that on the first page? I don't remember, but it's uh, Miles of Texas and Nutraceuticals. Okay, um, right there. Liver support. Da, 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 um. There it is, liver support. Um, now we're looking at that. So that's cool. I like to be able to look at look at something when you're talking about it. Now I can see it, and I could even click on it. And I and I did. I clicked on the liver support, and there it is. Great big bottle of liver support, and it tells me what's in it. It tells me did okay. Yeah, consisting of Hemsra, uh, Copreus, uh, Spinosa, Kansani, uh, Chikokorium, Intibus, Mandibura, Basama. A lot of uh, Hindi uh, herbs here. Karamachi. Yeah, it's all Ayurvedic herbs. Yeah, Sol Solanum, Nigrum, uh, and yeah, all the wonderful, wonderful formulation, uh, Ayurvedic medicine. Yeah, you're you're quite eclectic, sir. <laughs> so yeah, okay, that's cool. Okay, now see that this is wonderful. Now people can see that not only that you, we can talk about it, but you can see it. You can see the directions, the dosage, what to take, everything about it up on Doc Miles' new website, theherbdoctor.net. 
Okay, I'm happy now, Doc. I got to I got to look at the all what you were talking about. Good. <laughs> okay. So so yeah, it, it's been really busy. I've been really busy lately too. Uh, there's just a lot of people need a lot of help, and 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 they're tired of going to a medical doctor and getting drugged to death. Uh, and, and, and they're just they're, they're lingering in pain or they're not getting any help. The doctors just say, oh, sorry, uh, there's no cure for whatever you got. So um, good, goodbye. Learn to live with it, you know, kind of diagnosis. Uh, that's terrible because that's not what you and I do. We comfort people. Right. We help people. We we there's there's no one that we can't help. There's no one that we can't comfort. And everyone can be healed by the Lord. You know, if we do the work and, 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 and keep the faith, uh, expect miracles. And that's what I've learned. So, uh, yeah. So now, folks, again, we, we're getting closer and closer to the to in the, into the top of the hour or, or you know, the, the half hour now. And I want to make sure that you know that you are invited to press your star key two times in case you have a question or a comment and and then we'll answer your question and or we'll talk about your topic it was wonderful of that lady uh, uh, to, to, to joined us and asked about sciatica but there's a lot of things uh, that you, that uh, uh, that need to be addressed and if you can think of one that we should talk about Press your, press your star key and ask that question, please. I see that a mic is open there in area code 916. Please ask your question. Hi, Dr. Truman. This is Renee from Sacramento, and I have talked to Dr. Miles. I will ask the question. The lady that just called uh, uh, Miss Una, that's my friend. We're both from GOCC. I'm the one that had her call you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> She's new. She's kind of new at all this, so... Um, she will be, we'll be calling Dr. Miles back. But my question, Dr. Miles, I know that you told me to get my blood work back to you, and there was information that you gave me. And the only two, the only one place I found, which is in Las Vegas, which I know that's far. So my next question is, um, shall I go to my doctor, and how do I approach her when I want this blood work done? Won't she be suspicious? Like, why do you want this done? Well, I could, I could hear Doc. you. Uh, okay. I could hear. I could uh, hear the question. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute your mic, uh, Sharon. And uh, <clears throat> and the question is uh, that uh, when she when her friend uh, g goes to her doctor and says she wants some blood work done, uh, won't her doctor uh, become possibly offended or, 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 or slighted or something that she's having blood work done and sending it to somebody else or something. She's, that she, that's her question. Okay, the, question, the, the answer to that question is all she has to do is tell the doctor that she wants some certain panels, and I'll give you the panels in just a second, and she wants those for her nutritional doctor because they don't do nutrition. Okay, but the panels that I need is the comprehensive metabolic, the full CBC, the lipids, L-I-P-I-D-S, the T-S-H, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, and a year analysis. That's comprehensive metabolic, full CBC, lipids, TSH, and a UA, which is year analysis. With those numbers, with those panels, I run it through the computer, a special program, and it tightens up the parameters to the nutritional parameters, and we'll see how many places you're high or you're low or you're normal. And then we take all of those, and the computer evaluates everything and puts it in a complete scenario 
of your worst issue and your next issue and your next issue, but it starts with the most powerful issue that you have that we need to address, and it goes down to the least important issue. And so we pick out the top four or five issues, address those issues, and, you know, show you what a nutritional supplements will work for that, and you get well. I mean, that's just the way it works. It's very, very simple. There you go. So I'm, I'm bringing that mic back out again. Yes, so 916, did, did that, oh, I did, I unmuted your mic, but it didn't unmute. Now it's unmuted. Uh, did that answer your question? That answered my question. Only one thing, I can't write that down because I'm driving. But that, Dr. Miles, that. you do have my email address. This is Renee Stamp, my postal stamp. Okay, send me send me an email. You got my email address, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, send me an email tonight, and I'll get it in the morning, and then I will email it back to you, the complete list, so it'll make it easier okay. for you. Okay, all right. Because I get, right. I get so much going on all day long, I don't want to forget it, but if you send me an email, I won't forget it. Okay, will do. That sounds great. Thank you, Dr. Miles. Thank you, Dr. Truman. Okay. God, God bless you. Very good. Okay. Now, now that's uh, Sharon. We'll, we'll get that comprehensive, full metabolics, a CBC, lipids, TSH, and urinalysis reports uh, from her doctor. When and, and and that'll give her. Uh, that'll give Doc Miles the tools that he can use then to find out what's going on in the blood. Uh, there's, is there a question in area code 225? Or, or is there a question, a question there from uh, Samantha? Samantha, please ask your question. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. I, 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 did you have a question? Do you have a question? No. no. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, your mic was open. So uh, if you do have a question anytime, please press your star key two times to open your microphone. Questions are welcome. So I will close your mic. And uh, if anybody has a question, please press your star key two times so that we can uh, so you can join the conference and, and and participate in questions and answers and and ideas and what we should talk about. Okay, we're moving along here, and it's wonderful because people are people are asking questions and people are getting information, and that's what this is all about. Is uh, is it is a natural remedies discussion every. Thursday from 3 o'clock until 5 o'clock. And by the way, I, I, I keep uh, talk, uh, talking about uh, all, all of these reports up there on herbalhealthreview.com. And, and like when you are over there on the uh, uh, arthritis, uh, herbalhealthreview.com, and clicking on common conditions and picking any of the, the reports, <clears throat> and then you're looking at a product, you're over on the manufacturer's website. Now on that manufacturer's website, it's called Health and Herbs. That is all the remedies that I've created in the past 56 years. And I do not get anything from the sale of any product. <clears throat> and when the FDA questioned that and hauled me into court and said, oh, you, you, you're, you're making money, uh, well, I guess that's against their rules, you know, an herbalist isn't supposed to make money by inventing products. That was what it was all about. Uh, then I proved to a judge that I didn't, that I didn't make any money off the products I invented, that I gave it all away. When I proved that, and I showed them my tax returns and everything else, and, and I proved to them that I live on donation alone, and I don't get a lot of donation. I get just enough. Uh, to, to keep this ministry going, and uh, it's just, you know, unlike all ministries, it's uh, it's a labor of love, and it's a struggle sometimes. 
to make sure you're paying the rent and the bills, the phone bills, the internet bills, and all the things it takes to create this broadcast because I've been broadcasting and doing television and radio since I was 12 years old. I'm 76. That's a lot of radio, a lot of television, and a lot of internet. Uh, that's a lot of years. But it's, it's a labor of love. And, and that's what I do. So it, it, it's, uh, but this, this, uh, this website, Health and Herbs, has all these wonderful products. And, <clears throat> and you can call these people up. They are, they are my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. My daughter was involved in it originally, but she was so obstructed, intimidated, harassed, and, and, and that she could, she lost uh, her, uh, she lost all the money that she ever had uh, saved all of her life, uh, helping people uh, and being intimidated by our government. So she's no longer involved. She, she, she gave it over to my granddaughter. My granddaughter stood up and stood, uh, withstood the punishment from our government, and still does today, the intimidation, the threats, the obstruction, uh, in order to bring you the remedies that Grandpa makes. That's me. Well, I made them. I invented them. Now, I have nothing to do with them, except I oversee it. I, she, she, my, grand, my granddaughter listens to me. And when I say, honey, maybe you should uh, change this recipe a little bit, and add this herb, change that herb. She says, okay, Grandpa, good idea. And she fixes it. She is fantastic at creating natural remedies and, in, and, and, and following my instructions for years and years and years. And now her sisters are, have joined her as well. She's got two of her sisters that have joined her, Linda and, and uh, Alyssa, and a good friend. Uh, a really nice lady by the name of Lindsay. And those four ladies are the ones that that take the abuse and follow the instructions and they, they comply. They are government compliant. They do everything that they are told to do. And believe me, they are told to do many related, uh, unrelated uh, uh, things and, 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 and ridiculous instructions, but they do them. They do what the government t says to do, and the government, make, the government makes it as difficult as possible, but, and they do it, and they comply, and uh, they do a great job. So if you want high-quality, organic, natural remedies, go to the website, Health and Herbs. They deserve your patronage. They have stood up against the enemy which is the FDA. They, they stood up against them and they've done and complied and they've taken a beating and they've stayed standing and they've made no money doing it because when you do that, when you stand up against the government, they make sure and obstruct your, your, your uh, a ministry because it's a ministry as well. What I'm doing is a ministry and what Health and Herbs is doing is a separate ministry. We're associated, but I have I, I received nothing from BetterHealthHerbs.com or Health and Herbs in Albany, Oregon. But they deserve your patronage, and they will give you a 15% discount when you go to their website, BetterHealthHerbs.com, and look at any of the 14,000 natural remedies that they have, uh, then you can call them on the telephone. Uh, you can order it online. And when you check out, if you, if, if, you, if you order online on their website, when you check out, uh, it, it'll ask you if you, have a, if you have a coupon. You say, yes, I do. And it is health01, H-E-A-L-T-H, O one health O one 
When you type that into where it says coupon, when you're ready to check out for whatever it is you've ordered, you will get a 15% discount on your order. So not only are you getting all organic, high quality, best quality products, you're getting a 15% discount. Guess what? It gets better because besides that, you might want to call them on the telephone. Maybe you don't want to order on the internet. Maybe you don't even have a computer. <clears throat> so you call them on the phone and their phone number is 541-791-8400. That's 541-791-8400. And when you call them on the phone, uh, you're going to be able to talk to them and ask them questions. Now, they don't diagnose or prescribe, and neither do I. Now, of course, the FDA likes to run around and play that card. They always say, oh, they're prescribing and diagnosing. We consider everything they're doing a drug. And that's their chant. That's their chant. Their evil chant is that, that, uh, that you're breaking the law. When, tho when those guys are the lawbreakers, uh, that's them. But anyway, you, you can, you can uh, get your products. You can call them on the telephone. Uh, you can, <clears throat> uh, you can uh, call them 541-791-8400. Ask them questions. They don't prescribe or diagnose, but they will make suggestions. That's what we do here. We don't prescribe or diagnose, but we can suggest that you look at this product, look at that product, uh, that, that, that this, is our, this is what we know. We know that these are helping people. We're pointing to the products that will most likely give you a lot of relief. If you're cured, well, that's because the Lord does the curing. <clears throat> it's against, it's totally against the law in America, to if, if a MD says it's incurable, well, then it's against the law to cure it with natural remedies. That's right. They'll put you in jail. They'll fine you. They will drive you out of existence. They'll harass you. They're like the mafia. They'll pick on your family. They'll pick on your loved ones. They're, they're, there's no difference. So that's what we're dealing with, folks. And people like me are murdered on a regular basis in America. So if I'm not here much longer, it's because I've blown the whistle on what the truth is. And so, and then if I am here, that discredits what I'm saying because they haven't killed me yet. So it's really a, you know, it's a, what is it? A catch 22 or whatever they call it. Uh, what's that? It's a catch-22. It's a catch-22. So if, if I blow the whistle on them, uh, then if they if they kill me, uh, then, then you know I'm right. And if they don't kill me, then I'm suspect that I'm not right. So, then, so that's probably the reason why I'm still standing, because I have not I have not backed off from those ugly evil people doing what they're doing. I'm just not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to back off. So we'll see how, how this all turns out, folks. It's good, getting interesting.